everyone, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. So in video 973, I customised a PC case to the style of steampunk. And there was a couple people in the comments who were interested in how I got the grading effect on the front panel. Um, and if you're unsure what that looks like, I'll stick an image on the screen now. So I think that looks really cool and that is the uh, effect that we're trying to replicate today. So let's go take a look of the things that you're going to be needing. Okay, so the things that I'm going to be using are, I've got this little sample piece, this is a Jude Lux Vanilla Sunday colour, and uh, this is going to be a really nice base plate. Next is this wood stain slash varnish, and this is a rich mahogany colour. Then also you're going to need a cheap paintbrush, and there's a few other tools that you can use to get some really nice textures onto this paint, one of which being a stainless steel scour, and this big M8 threaded bolt, which I'll roll over the top to get the lines so it makes it look like there's grains in the paint. So now we know what we're going to be using, let's get on with it. Okay, so I've set up my example piece, and this is just a piece of square C for acrylic. And the reason for this is that we can see the layers getting built up on the other side. Right, you want to grab your paint and just give it a coat. This might take a few layers, but you want this to be completely solid. So whilst this paint is wet, it's probably a good idea to get some texture onto this paint. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab my stainless steel scour and just run a few lines through it. Like so. Now I'm just going to leave that to dry. Now the first layer is dry, it's time to put on the second. But also doing a little bit of texture detail with the stainless steel scour. So, get a bit of paint on that. Give you a closer look at that. Now we use our stainless steel scour to put more detail into it. We want to try and add some knots, like so. And now we just leave that to dry. So now that this is dry, it's time to put on our final layer. And as you can see, the detail is starting to stack. So all we do is paint it again. And for the last time, let's do some detail on the paint. Like so. Now our last layer is dried, it's time to put some of the wood stain varnish over the top. And with this, you've got to be a little bit careful because you don't want to put too much in. You just want to get a little dab on the end of your brush and start applying it. So this first layer is quite important. You want to do some weird movements with your wrist and try to get a natural pattern going through the, um, the paint, like so. And don't forget, this is just our first layer. So I'm going to finish this, I'll show you what it looks like, and then we'll stick the second layer over the top. So once you've applied your wood stain, you want to do stuff like this, which creates the figuring in the wood. You want to have bits that are slightly darker than others, and you want to put some knots in there. And now you just leave this to dry, because when the second coat goes over the top, it will bring it all together very nicely. Now our first layer of wood stain is dry, we basically apply another layer doing the exact same thing as we did before. Get your brush, get a little bit of the stain on the end, and go for it. And you might notice it's going to start getting darker, which is exactly what we want. And now we've applied our second layer, what we're going to do is just put a little bit of detail into the, uh, into the wood stain. Now we just leave this alone, wait for it to dry, and then we'll apply our final coat. So now that's dry, it's time to put on our final layer. And all this preparation that we've done before should pop through, and it should make it look really nice. So you don't want to do anything too fancy with this, you just want to darken it up a little bit. And everything should just pop through. <coughs> 
Now our final layer is added, this result is looking really nice. So I'm just going to leave this to dry, peel off the, um, the masking tape and show you what it looks like. So with that final layer now dry, this result is looking fantastic. And to me, it looks like burr walnut. So let's take a closer look at that. Isn't that super nice? And if we look at the reverse side, you can see how it's just layered on top with the detail. How cool is that? With that being said, you can use all kinds of different wood stain and base colours to get all kinds of different effects. Uh, in my case, I like this combo because it resembles burr walnut. So that now brings me to the end of the video, and I think that result was absolutely awesome. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments, and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway guys, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you later.